What is up, my YouTube family? Here's Cornelius Jones, and I'm coming in right now. I just wanted to put down a very quick, quick video uh, today. As you all know, recently I have been uh, just going in with the atheist community. And as of recently, I've been in some debates uh, with uh, talking about just the existence of Jesus Christ. And on that subject, I've been doing some research and I found out a very, very interesting fact. And I just want to put that out here on video today. And this is for all of those atheists out there who want to deny that Jesus Christ was a actual historical figure. You know, there are people out there that want to say that Jesus is a myth, you know, that, you know, we, did, we don't know for sure if he was an actual person and all that nonsense, okay? Well, I have some very uh, interesting information. And here's what I found. And I'm just going to go ahead and share it with you right now. That, that the, the question I had in my mind was, you know, where did this whole Christ myth theory come from? Okay. Well, I did a little digging and I found it. All right. So you guys can check this for yourself. But the Christ myth theory was actually started in the 18th century by a man named Charles Francis uh, Dubuis. Dupuis, if, if I'm pronouncing it, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. Okay. So Charles Francis Dupuis, he was a French scientist and he is the one who formally formed the Christ myth theory theory and this happened in the 18th century okay this is where all this stuff has all derived from from the 18th century from a French scientist named uh, Charles Francis Dupuis now here's my question for you okay I just got the, one question how in the world is Charles Francis Dupuis in a better position living in the 18th century to tell us whether or not Jesus was a real person than the people who wrote about him in the first, second, and third century. Do you not realize that you will not find prior to the 18th century, you will not find one piece of literature from a person that did not believe that Jesus was an actual figure. Now, wow, take that to the bank, okay? Now, you'll find people questioning whether or not Jesus was God, You'll find people questioning whether or not, you know, he was the Messiah. But you will not find any writer, secular or Christian, okay? You will not find any writer, even the enemies of Christ. You will not find anyone debate whether, or, I mean, question whether or not Jesus Christ was an actual historical figure prior to the 18th century, okay? So that's what I wanted to put out there. Why won't you find it? Because the people who lived in ancient times knew that Jesus was a real person. So it's, it's very hypocritical to charge people of hearsay in the first century and third century. But you don't want to charge, you, let's charge Charles Francis de Puis from with hearsay, <laughs> okay? Because he did not, this idea that Christ was a myth did not even start until the 18th century. So how in the world is that reliable information? That is information that has been passed down that started in the 18th century. This whole idea that Jesus was not an actual person. Any and every person who wrote literature about Christ in the early ancient times knew that he was an actual person. Okay, so I'll put a link so you can read uh, where I got that from. Go ahead and check it out yourself. Like I said, this is going to be a real short one here today. But I will be coming on again. I've been reading. I've been studying up. And we're going to continue to defend the faith. So this is Cornelius Jones signing off. I love you guys in the Lord. And what are your thoughts? You be blessed.